Okay, this is day 48, and you probably have heard on the web about these unsealed indictments. I don't know if this is the same thing as these indictments that have been unsealed or not, but this is the story here of the federal raid, the FBI raid down in uh, Virginia. That raid is uh, apparently uh, targeted Tales the, the Bloods gang, excuse me, um, and that gang is going to be drug, drug trading, gun trading, and murder, okay? So that's what they're doing down there, and this is in Woodbridge, Alex, Alexandria, and Maryland, and D.C. Uh, the part about Maryland that they don't say is Anacostia, uh, but I think we're going to find both sides of, of that bridge, of the Navy Yard Bridge, is where the arrests are going to be concentrated. And just to show you how many, <laughs> how many videos I've done, down there for Fort Belvoir, uh, one, two, three, and it just goes on and on for the number of folks I've said. I think I even did one that was Smuggler's Cove. I called it Smuggler's Cove, I think. I don't see it here. Um, so I, I believe this is um, this is the old Rick Ross gang. Uh, it's, I think a lot of the people are still, you know, from down from Rick Ross's um, lineage, the old CIA Anacostia gang. And it just goes from one, yeah, there it is, um, goes from one to the next, but you'll see it. And it... Okay, welcome to day 340. This is take two. The first one, uh, I guess, only was 20 seconds. I only got out the fact that this was Southern Fairfax County Ratline and Southern Fairfax County Smuggler's Cove with all these coves and inlets here, kind of like Pirates Inlets and Coves. Matter of fact, they have a Pirates Ride where I was yesterday that talks about this stuff. I didn't take it, but anyway, um, you notice that it, Maryland goes right up to the line here. So that interdiction, if you know about the interdiction on the, on the Virginia side, you know that there's safe ground in here and in here for offloading of, of boats and so forth. Or you can just use all these smugglers' coves in here. So what you're going to find is, uh, for instance, near Andre Taggart's old uh, residence, and again, this is why I'm saying U.S. military personnel is being targeted. You're going to for find Fort uh, Belvoir Community uh, Hospital right there, um, near where uh, excuse me, Jamal went to high school and South uh, South Community High School. Um, some of these addresses over here, you're going to find South Community Hospital near this Pembroke address, for instance, very close to South Community Hospital. And as I've said before throughout this series, the idea is to bring in drugs, recrush them, bring them in, or to substitute drugs for the Army, intended for the Army, and then use these other drugs in a public civilian setting. So it's just the gypsy switch here. You know, substituting the bad in and then doing the gypsy switch and selling the good at these community hospitals here. Now, are there other things going on here? Yes, in these homes, I believe these homes are storing drugs, as uh, and you keep moving the drugs along as you're storing. Of course, you're going to support that network through a stolen car network and so forth. You don't want a lot of you don't want the network to be driving around a lot of cars with a lot of registrations and license plates. Um, and I, as I said before, I put off drugs in this story as long as I possibly could, and that was primarily to remain alive. And I'm just going to be straight out and say that's the reason, because when you get into this, this is the big money, and this is where you get killed. So, so there it is, and <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm alive 60 days or 68 days later, which is kind of good. <clears throat> and I still believe Andre Taggart and his wife are being targeted. Um, I still believe that she, she would have the type of information on Walter Reed Army Navy Hospital, uh, she would have that type of information that would be prime uh, targets. And that's why they were moved into Imran's house over here. <clears throat> this is the Lorton address over here, Imran's Lorton address, right over by South County High School where Jamal went. And the other piece of it is, um, uh, you look at who came in before at that house, at that uh, at the Sprayer house, that was a guy doing uranium uh, and uranium waste and, and so forth. Um, from He was at the Hanford Nuclear Facility in Hanford, Washington. That's why I say Jaquia, you know, is kind of the backbone, is the pink cocaine. She's the sales side of this uh, network. <clears throat> I'm not saying she's involved in illegal drugs, but I'm, what I'm saying is they use co uh, uh, Jaquia as, a, as bait. And then once they establish that relationship with Jaquia, then they they sell everything else that comes after that. And that's the whole idea of the pink cocaine. Uh, and pink cocaine, of course, being Peruvian, very fine uh, cocaine. So 
Um, I'm not saying just cocaine comes in here. I'm also saying mostly heroin and, and re repilled type of heroines come in. But this is why I think Jaquay is still the answer to this whole situation. Now, I don't know about the unsealed indictments. I, can't, I, I haven't gone to those addresses yet. So we, we'll, we'll see as the story develops today actually where these people were arrested. And I'll go to every home. I'll go to every home. So that's all for this morning.